what Africa does in the energy transition over the next 20 years will positively or negatively impact climate change, depending on the energy solution choices we make. But more importantly, if the rest of the world does not collaborate with Africa, with two, over 2 billion people coming online in the next 20, 25 years, we hope that we'll have a positive collaboration to help Africa also transition. We all take energy for granted. You switch on the light, it comes on. But in poorer countries, it's an existential issue. You can't store the vaccine if you don't have the power. You can't have the operating theater working well if you don't have power. Energy is a broader issue. It's not about just climate. It's not just about security of supply of oil and gas. It's actually existential. So it is to help the current generation understand that going forward, you have to negotiate with other regions, other people like yourselves, your generation must look for those partnerships because carbon does not have a passport. And now we realize that, hey, viruses do not have a passport as well.